Okay, today I want to talk to you. We're continue on, continuing talking about faith. And I'm going to talk about it and teach on it uh, until God says don't teach on it anymore. Well, he's not going to ever say that, but he's going to say maybe move on to something else and come back to faith. But uh, it is because of faith that uh, you get everything from God. And I've been stating every service four reasons why we as believers must understand faith. And I want to go over them again because we learn by repetition. Four reasons why we must understand faith. Reason number one, because victory in life as a believer depends on your faith. Victory in life depends on your faith. Here's what the Bible says about it in 1 John chapter 5 and verse 4. I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation. It says, for every child of God, say that's me. That's me. Yeah, yeah. Defeats this evil world. What in the world is that? That means sickness. That means disease. The Bible says greater is he that's in you than he that's in the so all the stuff that's in you is greater than that, what all the stuff that's in the world. The sickness, the poverty, the disease, the lack, the depression, the whatever the world has that's destroying lives, God says, here's how every child of God defeats this evil world. Every child of God defeats sickness. Every child of God defeats poverty. How? And we achieve this victory. How? Through? Say it again. It's your faith, your faith. Say my faith. my faith. Number two reason why we must understand faith is in Romans chapter one and verse 17. It is the prescribed lifestyle of the believer. God has prescribed the lifestyle of the believer as a lifestyle of faith. Here it is in the last part. It's in four places in the Bible. The just shall live by faith. The just, the righteous shall live by faith. That doesn't mean you just tap into faith every once in a while. It means your lifestyle is a lifestyle of faith. You live by faith. You go to work by faith. You're married by faith. You're expecting healing by faith. You talk faith. You see what can't be seen. Are y'all listening to me? You say I'm healed even when your body says it's sick. You speak faith. You live faith. Are you with me? The just shall live by faith. Number, number three, the third reason why we must understand faith is because the Bible says it's impossible to please him without it. You can't please God without faith. Now, isn't this interesting? Here it is in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without, notice it doesn't say, but without hope it's impossible to please him. Hope is important, but apparently faith has a different position than hope. It doesn't say without love it's impossible to please him. Love is important. But, it's, but faith is what it takes to please God. Notice that it doesn't say uh, without good works, it's impossible to please him. Good works are important, but it's not the thing that pleases God. What pleases God is your faith. Are you with me in this place? Amen, amen, amen. It, it pleases God, just like uh, pastors uh, Eugene and Donye were saying. God was taken, Jesus was taken aback when somebody said, you just say the word. You don't even have to come to my house. Just say the word. My servant's going to be healed. Go ahead, say it, say it. Go ahead, say it. Are y'all listening to me? Jesus is like, uh, I love your swag right there. That's what it takes. Amen? That was the Lee Stokes version. Number four. The fourth reason why we must understand faith, I hope you're taking notes, is, and I believe this is the most important one, because all of the promises of God are received by faith. If you're going to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you're going to receive it by faith. If you're going to receive abundance and promotion in life from God, you're going to receive it by faith. If you're going to receive the healing that's been already given to you, you're going to receive it by faith. Every single thing you get from God, you must get by faith. Tell your person sitting next to you right there, say, you got to get it by faith. Not by screaming and crying, not by begging and pleading, not by a hoping and a praying, but by faith. Are y'all listening to me? All right. All right. Let's look at what the Bible says about that in Romans chapter four and verse 16, amplified version it says, therefore, inheriting the promise. What promise? All of them. All of them. Say it all together. All, all of them. Any promise, any promise that God has, and this book is full of promises. That's why the book is so thick. It's full of stories that show you how to receive the promises of God. Every one of them you'll receive by faith. Every one of them. Health by faith. You'll live the long, blessed, prospering life by faith. Amen? So that's why we're studying. 
He says, therefore, inheriting the promise is the outcome of faith and it depends entirely on faith in order that it might be given as an act of grace, unmerited favor. The method for receiving God's grace, his unearned favor, is faith. Amen? 